Hello everyone. So this is a continuation of uh, that little short film I did of where I found these locks. And here are the locks. They're all the same. Um, some of them I have, like this one I cleaned up a little bit. The bottom, I didn't take the rust off or anything. I just made sure the core would turn. Because um, they were painted over. And this one I tried to free up, but I don't think I got the core to be able to turn on it. This one I left as is, uh, just to show you what what happens when people paint locks. Uh, the paint dries and it acts kind of like super glue. And here's another one that I cleaned up. Now, the thing about these locks are, they're, uh, I believe they're five pin. It feels like I can feel five of them clicking in there. It's only a single locking pole. It's 44 millimeter Chinese. They're probably were all key to light because they're all made the same and the power company probably put them on there. I don't know why. If the apartment complex did it. Uh, any Anyway, the main thing about these particular locks, uh, besides being free, and I, I love finding something free, like a free lock, um, is the uh, bypass um, they're very easily bypassed yeah you could probably shim this up here on the shackle but what is even easier and faster is you just go up against uh, all the pins with a knife tool and push down you go up and lever down and it opens that fast um, this one I cleaned up a little bit so you could single pin pick it uh, but it works on every one of these and the reason why it's called a bypass is you're bypassing the whole locking mechanism of the core itself it turns and acts upon a paw which pulls back and allows the spring to jump up what you're doing is just grabbing the actuator up there and the good thing about that is this lock hasn't been picked or at least I haven't picked it it's been painted over and everything. So you could still use this as a lock and just have a knife tool with you. you uh, I don't know how secure it would be, but you know, nobody would really pick it because uh, they can't get in there as far as like turning the core. Although I don't know uh, very many pickers that don't know about bypassing, but still. In theory, you could still use this as a lock, like that. All right, so, there you go. A little bit of solvent and everything would probably free up these cords, but I want to leave this one, you know, as is. I think I cleaned the shackle up a little bit, took some of the paint off. But isn't that strange, what people do? I mean, who would be painting a, a lock and not think that it would affect it? I mean, they look, they painted the bottom side of the lock, too. It's not like... They didn't know, you know. Anyway. What can you say? But they're nice, heavy little locks. And they're free. Not as good as Bosnia and Bill, you know, fine stuff. And Potty 314's video was much better. Better scenery. And he had two old, weathered-looking locks that looked pretty cool. That's what gave me the idea of this. Because um, I don't really have any new locks right now. Although I have a neighbor that is into lock picking I just discovered so I might be able to trade some he's got some quick sets um, and uh, he had a he had a Brinks just like this but it was rusted and everything I said oh yeah I got one of those brand new um, relatively brand new so there you go hope everyone's having a good time and enjoying themselves and eventually I will get an eBay lot or something oh and look at this this color matches this chair right here. They use the same kind of paint, same paint color. So there you go. That's all I have for there right now. I just wanted to add that as an addition. These are the locks that I found walking around. And uh, there's lots of other locks out there, but they're in use. And I couldn't pick on them. But they're tumbler locks. Uh, disc tumbler locks covering uh, cable systems. It looks like people have pried open to get into. And there's a um, 
WB Wilson Bohannon or whatever type of locks. Those are on the bottom power grid thing. This is basically, you know, the like the transformer on the ground. And it says, you know, if you see this thing unlocked or anything, call somebody because it's dangerous and electrical. The reason there are locks in there is to keep, you know, people away from high voltage that shouldn't be near high voltage. And um, that would be an example of if you're messing around and you picked open a lock and forgot to lock it back up, maybe a little kid, you know, walking by, it's ground level. Open it up, think it's a place to hide for hide and seek, and bzz, and that's your fault. You know, for messing with that. So, there you go. That's your little lecture. Your little scary scenario of what could happen in your fantasy land. So, I won't bore you any further. There you go. Just keep your eyes open for free locks. Um, whenever I go... Uh, this is the only other thing that I found that was free. This was a cam lock. And I never had a, you know, a cam lock. But now I do. Um that I found on a piece of furniture that somebody was throwing away. So the furniture was messed up, but the lock still worked. And that's fun to play around with. So a wafer lock, I believe, not a cam lock, but a wafer lock. There's wafers in there. There you go. I shall hopefully have something better to report on eventually, like maybe that quick set deadbolt or whatever he's got down there. I'll swap him some old master locks with or something.